COVID-19 is not going away. In fact, it's getting worse. Now more than ever, action by everyone is needed until treatments are available for COVID-19. For example, hospitals in various regions of the state, they're, they're being strained. Already reports from some regions show some ICU units nearing capacity. In short, we must do more to slow the spread without locking Texas back down. Now, there are several things that we can do that are proven to slow the spread. First, if you can, just stay at home. Also, if you can, try to work from home. Now, this is not a stay-at-home order. This just recognizes reality. If you don't go out, you are less likely to encounter someone who has COVID-19. If you do go out, stay six feet away from others that you are not traveling with. But of course, one of the best ways to keep businesses open while also slowing the spread is for everyone to wear a face covering like this when they go out. Medical studies have shown that wearing a face covering slows the spread of COVID-19 and it protects you and your family. That is why today I am issuing a face covering requirement for all counties with more than 20 COVID cases. This safe standard requires Texans to wear masks in public spaces with certain common sense exceptions. This requirement is not intended to be punitive. Instead, we just need everyone to do their part to help to slow the spread. That's why the first violation of the standard is just a warning. Subsequent violations are subject to a penalty not to exceed $250. But let me be clear, no one can ever be put in jail for violating this safe practice. Local law enforcement has the authority to enforce this safety standard just like they do when enforcing seatbelt standards. Now I know that wearing a face covering is not the convenient thing to do, but I also know that wearing a face covering will help us to keep Texas open for business, and it will help Texans earn the paycheck they need. 